Well, the European debt crisis has made many Eurozone countries cheaper for Chinese travellers this summer. Chinese tourists are seizing the opportunity by flocking to Europe in hopes of finding good deals on luxury items. Xie Sese reports. At this local travel agency in Beijing, tourists are planning their holidays to Europe. I've always longed to travel to Europe, but it is used to cost so much to go there. Since the exchange rate is lower now, I decided to plan a trip there with my friends. And because it is a peak season now and bookings are all full, I started to prepare my visa about one and a half months ago. She is not alone. Official figures show that Chinese tourists traveling to Europe topped 4 million in 2011 and is expected to increase to 4.5 million by 2015. Industry insiders say the run for trips to Europe is mainly driven by the fall in value of the euro against the RMB. Tour packages have become less expensive. For example, traveling to Greece used to cost 20,000 RMB before the European financial crisis. And nowadays, it's 30% off. According to BTG International Travel Agency in Beijing, France, Germany and Switzerland are the most popular destinations for Chinese visitors. The UK is also becoming a hotspot for travelers after hosting the 2012 London Olympic Games. But Paris took the number one spot with tax-free luxury products like designer handbags and watches being the big draw for Chinese tourists. And European shops are welcoming China's big spenders with open arms. The average spending power of Chinese customers is around 500 euros before the European debt crisis, and that spending has now skyrocketed to almost 1,000 euros. However, due to price increases in response to the falling euro, operational costs for the travel agencies have also risen. Although the euro is becoming cheaper, our profit margin hasn't really gone up that much since costs are higher. Local receptionists want to make money, so they are becoming expensive too. Mr. Xia also said that travelers are changing their preferences preferring to travel individually rather than in tour groups, which will diversify their spending power in various places across Europe. CCTV, Beijing.